Hi guys, so recently over on Instagram, I asked all of you what your worst and best science fiction and fantasy reads were. Yesterday I did the worst ones according to you and today we're ending on a positive and we are doing the best. I will have my best of very soon, but sticking with yours, we start off with some Sanderson. We have Skyward with heart eyes. We have a different person that says Mistborn with hearts around the happy face. And then we have Way of Kings and Star Sight. All of those on basically the, the opening part before I slide. This person has a few. They say the long way to a small and angry planet, which I haven't read, but I'm very curious about because I've seen people talk about it only a little bit. They also said Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett, which I'm excited about. And then they said, oh, there's this one book. It's called Peace and Turmoil. Have you heard of it? It's very sweet. For those that don't know, that's that's my book. Oh, this next one makes me happy. It says, The Lunar Chronicles, no competition. There is so much Sanderson love here. Somebody says, probably Words of Radiance. Someone else says, Words of Radiance and The Dragon Republic. I'm glad you liked it because somebody mentioned Dragon Republic as a worst for them. So, debate. This next one, I'm really happy to see. Somebody said, Kings of the Wild. This is a story that a lot of people who get into it really like it for how much fun it is. It's basically a bunch of has-beens that have to kind of go on a mission one last time. And they're all old and cranky and achy now. And so there's this kind of humor factor to it, everything. I started that story and I just wasn't, I didn't really find that it worked for me, but I 100% can see why it would work for other people. And I'm really excited that other people are enjoying it so much. This next one, ugh, I'm almost upset at you for saying this because I also I feel like I need to get to the series and I haven't put it on my TBR and now I feel bad that I haven't. <laughs> it says, Shadows Linger by Glenn Cook, the black company doesn't get the love it deserves. And I agree because I've heard pretty much nothing but good things about the series. I hear it's great for if you are fans of Malazan, Malazan, but you maybe don't want to take on so much. And I've heard it's also good for people who are fans of Joe Abercrombie. So I feel like it has the potential to be something I'd be super into and I just need to pick it up. Someone else said, this is the year that they discovered Sanderson. So Mistborn, they put first and second era and Words of Radiance. This is getting silly. We have definitely Stormlight Archive, Stormlight Archive one and two. They also said the fifth season. Also we have Oathbringer. So three in a row. I had a relative that participated. They said their yearly reread through The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The next one says The Priory of the Orange Tree. The same person also wrote Peace and Turmoil and they wrote Kings of the Wild. So there you go. There's another Kings of the Wild. Oof, I'm excited about this next one. They say Malice, The Winter of the Witch and Way of Kings. So Way of Kings, agree. Malice is one I'm planning on reading this next year. I've heard really good things and I feel like nobody really talks about it on booktube. But a lot of you, when I mention, ah, oh, shoot, I gotta get to that series, you're always like, yeah, you do, you really gotta get to it, it's great, so I'm excited you mentioned it. But The Winter of the Witch, I've not really heard much about, so thank you for introducing me to that. The next person has a couple, they say The Witchland series by Susan Denard, or Dennard, I'm never sure. They say it's so underrated, Blood Witch was their favorite. And I have a question. I read the first one quite a while ago, and I didn't love it but I really don't remember that much about it. I'm wondering if I reread it, if maybe I would enjoy it more. I have heard that the first one is kind of, not that it's awful, but I've heard it's the worst of that series and that if you keep reading, they just continue to get better. So let me know, should I give that series another, another go? That same person also said Peace and Turmoil is pretty high on my list too. Although I forgot it only just came out this year. Ah, thanks. A couple people have said The Poppy War, which is great. I'm so glad so many of you enjoyed it. I already kind of talked about it in my worst of that I did that uh, your guys' worst of. There are so many Sanderson answers, which makes me so happy. But I'm going to stop putting up Sanderson's unless it's one of his other ones that doesn't get talked about much. But you guys get it. Storm My Archive's great. Skyward's great. Mistborn's great. All that's great. I'll add the Rhythmatist. That's definitely going to be on my favorites of this year because I loved it so much and it's so underhyped. Not just for Sanderson, I just feel like it's underhyped in general and it was such a good time. This next one says Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes, Gods of Jade and Shadow. Um, so I want to say the Sam Sykes one, every time I go to my local used bookstore, I see his books and I am always thinking about getting them and I tell myself, 
you have so many unread books you really don't need more but but do i do i need his books this next one says queen of air and darkness and peace and turmoil thank you very much queen of air and darkness though i have not read i will have to check that out oof this one i'm excited about it says senlin ascends still reading it but if the ending lands it sure will be a fave i'm excited about that because i've seen other people say it's extremely underrated and that you need to check out that series i got the first one but i haven't gotten around to it yet but it makes me really excited to see that it's getting so much love oh there's another one the winter of the witch by katherine arden and then hero of ages by brandon sanderson so we've got another one for winter of the witch I feel like I need to check this out now. Okay, we do have another Sanderson, but it's not one of the ones that's been talked about as much. It says, Warbreaker. I loved that book with Way of Kings and other great books. I'm surprised it stands out as my favorite. And I really like Warbreaker. I know some people don't like it as much, but I think that, you know, I just think it's, it's really good in so many ways. There's no fluff. I feel like the characterization is fantastic. I really liked the kind of mystery side of things. I thought the world building was the perfect amount. The perfect amount it wasn't too much, wasn't too little. I really enjoyed it and it's one and done. I know he's planning on eventually expanding it, but for now it's just a trill or uh, now for now it's a standalone and it's great. This next one I've not really heard people talk about much. It says Dance of Thieves duology by Mary E. Pearson and Flame in the Mist duology, which that one really piques my interest because I saw people talk about that series pretty much only saying they were kind of disappointed with it, but I'm still very interested and I definitely still want to pick it up at some point. I'm really happy to see somebody love it so much. This next one says, I read so many good ones. This is hard, but probably Name of the Wind. Oh, this next one says Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto. I definitely think this was a really great book. I'm really excited for the sequel. This is going to be a series that... I don't obviously know what's going to happen as it continues on, but I enjoyed the first one and can see so much potential for this to be a great series for people who want young adult, but a lot of world building and lore in their young adult books. I feel like this can be a great one. And there's animal companions because they have phoenixes in this series, which are really cool. We have another Senlin Ascends, so that's cool. Kings of the Wild, another one of those. And American Gods, which I've never read. I've never read any of his books, Neil Gaiman. So I don't know where to start. I think I'm going to start with Ocean at the End of the Lane. I've heard that's a great one to start with. But if you guys have suggestions, let me know. Oh, this one is an interesting mix. It says The Wicked King, Sorcery of Thorns. I enjoyed both of those. And then Gardens of the Moon. That's a very drastic difference from the other two. But I'm glad you liked all those. Gardens of the Moon... I, it was funny, I had somebody in the worst of say they thought it was the worst first installment in a series. <laughs> so I'm glad that you enjoyed it so much, kind of balance out the other one. And I also enjoyed Sorcery of Thorns quite a bit. I thought it was a really fun, sweet standalone, but still had pretty good stakes. And then uh, Wicked King, that was my favorite in the Folk of the Air trilogy. I think Wicked King still stands out to me. The first one I was like, oh, okay, and the third one... Certain elements I thought were pretty good, but yeah, that second one, that was my favorite. Finally, somebody <laughs> says Baptism of Fire, which is a Witcher book. My little Witcher loving heart was a little bit broken yesterday because so many people were saying that there were Witcher books that, you know, were on their... Sorry if you can hear my dog sneezing. There were so many people that were like, I didn't like Witcher. So thank you for... I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you liked Witcher. I'm also glad about this next one. It says the Red Rising trilogy because somebody else in the other video said they were disappointed in that. So I'm very glad that you enjoyed it. I also like Red Rising. Um, someone, I've seen a couple people say The Starless Sea. That was definitely a book that I was interested in this year, but just haven't had the time to get to it. But I'm glad to see multiple people have said that. So definitely gonna have to look into it a little more. This next one will be the last one. It says the whole Powder Mage trilogy, you need to give it a shot. And for me personally, I have given it a shot. I read the first one and I would love to read something else by this author. That first one just wasn't for me, but I can definitely see it being for a lot of other people. There's a lot to it that I think was really well done. I only read the first one, but, but I am interested enough to pick up something else by Brian McClellan. If you would like to see the worst of, I will have that linked down below. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what your best of the year have been and I'll see you guys later. Bye.